Hey, Andrew here. Today we're going to take a look at 9mm 147 grain HST, also from a carbine or a pistol brace thingy. It's not. What do we call these things? Like, I think we should call them a not carbine. That's with the, the bang or exc exclamation mark in front of carbine to indicate not carbine. Let me know what you think we should call these things that are not a rifle but have a pistol brace on them. In any case, <laughs> what we're gonna shoot is 9mm 147 grain HST, which is normally subsonic from a pistol, but will it be subsonic from a carbine? And whether or not it is, how does the nearly eight inch, that 7.72 inch barrel on the CZ Scorpion affect terminal performance? Let's get out to the range and shoot it into Clear Ballistics Clear Gel. All right, so far so good. Easy part, good expansion, decent penetration. This one bounced back a little bit. I think you can see that on the high speed, although I didn't get a good look at it yet. The end of the track is exactly 17 inches. The end of this track is 15 and three quarter. Go ahead and get these bullets out of here and take a look. There we go. Good full expansion. Looks pretty uniform. The pedals look like they advanced down the shank about the same distance on both. Okay, for once, I had some good luck. So here's where I dug out the previous two bullets. This is the second shot. This is the first shot. This top track here, you, you probably can't see it so well from your angle because it's actually behind this track, but it impacts here, comes through, stops there. Penetration, 17 and a half, and 19 and 7 eighths. So straddling both sides of that 18 inch maximum, but bearing in mind that that's with a seven, was it seven and a half inch barrel, I think, through heavy clothing, eh, not bad. Uh, in both cases, it's still expanding reliably. I would say that this uh, HST is probably your best possible choice for if you insist on using a suppressed nine millimeter submachine gun, PCC, that sort of thing for defensive purposes, that's probably the best possible choice. Although there may be some others out there that do well. Let's go ahead and get these projectiles out of here. That is hot and sharp. And the other one, all right. They look very similar. Real uniform, nice full expansion. That's what we wanna see. All right, so first of all, yes, it's still subsonic. It sounds really nice and quiet. Big expansion, deep penetration, sharp edges, perfect retained weight. Overall, this would be a very good choice for defensive use if you insist on using a nine millimeter carbine or pistol brace thingy <laughs> for defensive use. I'm not a proponent of that. I don't believe that there's any good reason to use a rifle-sized gun without a rifle cartridge in it. That is, I mean, don't get me wrong, 
9 millimeter pistol caliber carbines, submachine guns and whatnot are fun. However, terminally, 9 millimeter is nowhere near any pistol caliber is nowhere near 556, 762 by 39 or any intermediate rifle cartridge. The difference in terminal effect is profound. Okay, sure, maybe you'll say, but my silencers. Well, sure, yeah, you're right that suppressed subsonic 9mm is a lot quieter than suppressed supersonic 556. But in the context of home defense, the purpose of having a silencer isn't to be some ninja assassin. You're defending yourself, remember? The reason that you have a silencer on there is to retain your ability to communicate with first responders, 911 dispatch, family members, and so on. And a suppressed 556 or 762 by 39 or 300 blackout or whatever is quiet enough to continue to do that, to be able to hear well enough that you can hear the cops saying, drop the gun. You're not a ninja assassin. You don't need it to be hearing safe or comfortable to shoot. You just need to like not blow your ears out. And for that matter, lots of people defend themselves with unsuppressed weapons many times a year and they go on and live long and happy lives. Lots of troops go down range and kick in doors and kill bad guys with unsuppressed M4s inside of concrete huts and they go on and live long and happy lives and say what occasionally? What? The bottom line is that 9mm is not a great choice for defensive use in comparison to a carbine and an intermediate cartridge. And the only reason that it starts to make sense is one, if it's full auto, because quantity has a quality all its own, or two, for someone who's recoil sensitive or um, older, infirm, or for whatever reason, maybe not able to handle a 5.56 carbine in the way that they could a lighter, lower recoiling 9mm submachine gun sized package, even if it is semi-auto. I know I've probably triggered a lot of you folks and you've got lots of mean things to say to me. That's okay, I can take it. I love to hear what you have to say even when you're wrong. So go ahead and post a comment below. I'd like to hear your input on this one. Let me know what you think. If you want to rent a phantom high-speed camera just like the one that I used for this video, get in touch with Aimed Research. Their contact information is in the doobly-doo. Have a great day.